Hello everybody, it's Mac here, and today I'm going to about what DLC I would like to see a part 2 version of. Now, there has sort of been this talk going around the community, and, uh, you know, a lot of different people have been saying, you know, what DLCs they'd like to see uh, part 2 versions of. Now, we have seen DLCs in the past get a part 2 version of them, like the Ill-Gotten Gains update. So, we saw the Ill-Gotten Gains part 1 update, then they also put out the part 2 version update, which was very similar to the part 1, maybe a little bit different content. Um, you know, pretty much the same amount of vehicles, you know, same amount of weapons and stuff like that. And I sort of went through all the DLCs, and even in a recent video, I, you know, talked about every single DLC in GTA Online and what my thoughts were. And I sort of want to go through that again, um, but talk about what DLC I would love to see a Part 2 version of. Now, there were a few DLCs that I was like, okay, this DLC could probably get a Part 2 version of, like, say, the Heist update. And then there's also other DLCs, like, you know, say, maybe the LTS update, or the Flight School update, or what I want to talk about in this video, the Hipster update. So the Hipster update was such an amazing DLC. It was my third favorite DLC in that video, uh, which if you want to check that video out, you know, the best DLCs in GTA Online, there will be a link in the description. Now, what was weird about this DLC is it was sort of the first DLC for G Tone Line that didn't have a release date. And sort of Rockstar, um, at the tail end of 2014, and, you know, halfway through, they started just doing that. You know, pretty much, I think, almost every DLC after that didn't have that much of a, you know, release window. And they, you know, maybe just, like, one day before, they may, you know, talk about it, and that was it. Like, the Flight School update, they only announced it one day before release, and they sort of started doing that. And the Hipster update was the first DLC that started doing that. And it was a nice DLC. It was very, very good. And, you know, it was very different, which was one of the best parts about it. It added seven new vehicles, you know, very different vehicles. We didn't see any supercars. We didn't see any sports cars, which it was unique at the time because, you know, the two DLCs before then were the business update and the high life update. And both of those DLCs were very high-end, they had very similar content, supercars, sports cars, stuff like that. And it was a very nice change of pace with these, you know, different vehicles that weren't too expensive, they had a lot of customization. There were vehicles like muscle cars and, and sports classics and you know, compact cars and stuff like that, which we haven't really seen many cars in those categories since then. Like, if you think about it, I don't think we've seen a single compact car since the hipster up. There haven't been that many vehicles in those classes, so it would be very nice if we got some vehicles in those classes. So the reason why I would like to see this hipster update is because of what I just mentioned. You know, it was a unique DLC, and we've seen like what five different DLCs already for G Tone Line out of the you know 18 different DLCs that were like super high end you know stuff and you know uh, very rich, very you know uh, high end stuff. We've seen the two ill-gotten gains updates, the executives and our criminals DLC. We've seen the high life DLC, the business DLC. All of those had the same theme, and sure they were a little bit different from each other, but they had the same theme, you know, of high end, rich, you know, rich life, and you know, uh, you know, high end living and stuff like that. And then you have the hipster that comes along, which is more of a suburban kind of, you know, middle class DLC. It wasn't necessarily low-end, you know, it wasn't really like that, and we haven't really seen a low-end DLC too much. But this DLC was just different, you know, it was sort of in between, you know, a super cheap DLC and a super expensive DLC. The vehicles weren't the most flashy, they really weren't, you know, but the, the joy of this DLC was going and checking out the customization on these vehicles. That's what the best part about this DLC was, in my opinion, the customization on this on this DLC. Now the vehicles were amazing, and sure they weren't the fastest, but they would just look nice, and they had amazing customization. The clothing was very unique, and if you look at, say, like the Ill-Gotten Gains update, if you look at the t-shirts in that update, the designer t-shirts are already, like the logos are already in the game. If you go around Rockford and you will see some, you know, buildings, and uh, you'll see some shops that have that same design as the stuff that we've seen already. So, the hipster update Almost all the clothing that I can remember had, you know, unique designs, and that was a very nice thing. We also got tattoos, we also got some uh, hairstyles, I believe, which we haven't seen that many of recently, actually, now that I think about it. We also got the weapons, which were pretty terrible, honestly. I think that the weapons were the weakest link of this DLC. We got, you know, the anti-cavalry dagger and the vintage pistol. I'm sure they were both okay looking, and they were different... I guess, but they were still a pistol and, you know, melee weapon combination, which I'm not a big fan of, 
because we've seen that so many times, and they weren't really that good of weapons in of themselves. So, yeah, I didn't really like the weapons too much, but what I would like to see in a part two version of is, you know, of course, new vehicles, maybe a new compact car, sort of unique vehicles, stuff that we haven't seen before, and also, you know, maybe a few Pegasus vehicles, maybe um, some stuff that we haven't seen before, just sort of unique stuff, and I feel like stuff that it maybe, you know, isn't really too popular, also would, you know, fit in the theme of a hipster update, maybe stuff like, you know, like we've seen with, like, the smart car, you know, that's not a car that you'd expect too much, but it was still a very fun car, uh, stuff like the Dubs to 6x6 and stuff like that, you know, just unique vehicles, I think would be the best, of course, some more clothing, uh, maybe a new category of clothing or something like that, maybe they could uh, do stuff with that, you know, new t-shirts, new unique designs on your t-shirts, and generally, I would just like to see the same amount of clothing, but just different designs and stuff, because I feel like the clothing in this DLC was very, very good, and I think more of the same would be nice, but also a few things that we haven't really seen as much. Um, also, a uh, new mask, just, you know, unique mask, sort of hipster mask, I think that would work very well, um, and that would be the general theme of this Part 2 DLC, just stuff that we haven't seen before, and just stuff that may not be too popular or stuff like that, you know, sort of, you know, fitting in the theme of a hipster DLC, or the I'm not a hipster DLC, which I just call it the hipster DLC, uh, for short, but the, the full name was the I'm not a hipster update. And then also with weapons, I was thinking about weapons, and I don't know exactly how they could go about it, but I feel like, you know, uh, the idea of, you know, antique weapons was a good idea, and I feel like we could actually see that again, maybe like a, say, a lever action shotgun, or a double barrel shotgun, or... Um, maybe even weapons like the British Sten, uh, or the, uh, Bren, um, those are sort of unique looking weapons, maybe even, a, you know, an LMG like the DP-28, uh, you know, weapons from, like, World War II, or just stuff like unique weapons. I would also like to see maybe new houses, say, in, uh, the, in the Mirror Park area, and sort of suburban houses, because all of the houses that we've seen so far have been high-end, you know, in the Vinewood Hills and stuff. I feel like maybe some more sort of suburban uh, houses. Um, now, we don't know how good those would look, and also they may not have, you know, 10-car garages and stuff. But overall, I would love to see a I'm Not a Hipster update part 2, because I feel like the DLC was amazing. I'm sure some people will agree with me, but if you disagree, let me know that in the comments. What DLC would you like to see a part 2 of? You know, uh, out of all the DLCs, what would you like to see? Also, you know, what would you like to see in that DLC? Would you like to see more of the same? Is there anything specific that you'd like to see in a Part 2 version? Do you think anything that they could improve on? Because, for me, the I'm Not a Hipster update, two out of the three parts of the DLC were amazing. The clothing and the vehicles were good. The weapons could definitely see some improvement. And I feel like it may be a little hard to make new weapons for it. I feel like they could improve that, but also... Keep the vehicles very similar, customization-wise, you know, keep a lot of customization in there. But I also feel like they could improve some aspects, like the weapons and stuff. But keep the clothing and the vehicles just as good as they were before, if not better, because this would be a next-gen-only DLC. And the hipster update was on last-gen, which also, you know, I feel like if this DLC was, you know, next-gen, you know, it didn't have to worry about the limitations of the last-gen of, you know, the Xbox 360 and PS3, I feel like it could really, really be something great. But let me hear your thoughts on this in the comments. Hope you enjoy. Feedback's always pretty, and I'll see you guys in the next video.